For the first time in more than a decade, researchers are planning an expedition to the Titanic. The manned expedition being planned by an Everett, Washington-based firm for 2018 will be the first since 2005. OceanGate Expeditions and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution experts will set sail from Newfoundland, Canada in May of next year to explore the ship's underwater tomb. Once there, the OceanGate experts plan to document the wreck's condition and artifacts it contains. While the Woods Hole researchers hope to begin developing a 3D photographic model, the British passenger liner, the biggest ship of its time, nearly 50,000 tons and 900 feet long, sank after a colliding into an iceberg on 15th April 1912. Despite breaking records upon its constructions, the Titanic would look funny compared to the cruise liners of today, like the Oasis of the Sea, which entered service in 2009 and weighs almost five times the amount and is longer, wider, and can carry thousands more passengers. The Titanic sunk on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England, to New York City, killing more than 1,500 people, among them some of the richest individuals in the world. The Titanic would look funny compared to the cruise liners. The Titanic sunk on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England, to New York City, killing more than 1,500 people, among them some of the richest individuals in the world. People, among them some of the